week in the NHL, an inside look at the past week's activity throughout the league. Here is Dave Hart. Welcome to This Week in the NHL. Last week on this show, we look back at the highlights uh, in hockey. 1981, we deliberately avoided the date March 2nd, the last time Charlie Simmer was at Maple Leaf Gardens when uh, very unfortunately he broke his leg. And the last time we talked, you were in a hospital bed. So this is much... Uh, this is a much better position. Much for more sure. pleasant for, for both of us, uh, I'm sure. How are you feeling? Good. It's, uh, it's been hot and cold, but the last couple of weeks it's been coming real well. I've been real I think our name should be Canadian Auto Parts. And fishing, sporting goods, and camping, and plumbing, and houseware, and home improvement, and hardware. But you can call us Canadian Tire for short. There's a lot more to Canadian Tire than tires. Interested in goaltending, playing, or teaching? Have you ever wondered how and why the good ones dominate the best shooters in head-to-head -head competition? Obviously, goaltenders are very talented people who have worked long and hard to sharpen their technique and skill. It seemed that for years, hockey people tried to keep the teaching of goaltending skills a secret. Hey, any boy or girl can acquire enough skills to thoroughly enjoy playing the game's toughest position. Pro Tip, brought to you by Zellers. Shop Zellers. Only you will know how little you pay. And there's the end of the period. I, oh, wait a minute, guys. Yeah, well, hold it. Hey, quiet down. It was cross-checking. And then well, please. Don't you want to hear what Zellers hockey fan special is this week? Starting Monday at Zeller's, get VO5 hairspray for $1.47, shampoo for $1.97, Gillette Foamy Shaving Cream for $1.67, and Atra Blades for $2.47. Now that's something to make noise about, right? Huh? This is our second show on goaltending, and here's Donnie Edwards with more inside information on excellent pro tips. Last year we showed you just the tip of the iceberg with balance with goalkeeping. Now we're going to show you a few extra moves that might be able to help you. And one of the keys is just having your feet underneath you at all times. Now, Howie and I are going to show you how this relates to goaltending. Balance on skates is having the leg of the ice directly under you, supporting your weight while the working leg is out doing its job. Now that we've showed you how to use the skates, now we're going to show you the coordination with the stick and the skates. The leg is extended to make the save. Body control puts the stick at the right angle to control the rebound. Balance keeps down on his feet, ready to make the next save. If you're just a young goalie starting out, try this sometime. Okay. <laughs> The big problem with goalkeepers is challenging the shooter and pushing off. And with young goalkeepers, the problem is they have their leg too straight and they try and hug the post a little too tight. If you got your knees bent, you can push off with your toe and get real quick out to the shooter. The push off should generate thrust and power, a simple skill youngsters have problems with. Remember, bent knee, leg of the ice under you, working leg, toe out, push hard, and you attack the shooter just like Donnie. Most amateurs, when they push off, pull up. What happens is it sticks off the ice and the legs are straight. Now here's how the pros do it. Remember the bent knee for push off. Good upper body control keeps down in the crouch. And balance allows them to move the body and make the save. Hey, I like that. Kids have problems getting up when they're down. And the reason is because they have no body control and balance. And here's how they do it. Now here's a little trick on how I do it and have body control and balance. Don's catching hand is the key. Same stop again. Two moves this time. Watch the far leg go along the ice. Now the catching hand under him pushes up against, makes the save. Hey, great move. Remember earlier when I said goaltenders dominate the shooters and you laughed? Well, here are three attackers home free with orders to score a goal. 
Pass the puck all they want. Make Edwards into left fielder. Get him down and out to lunch and score a goal. Well, that's three tries, and all they've done so far is hit the post. Netminders have everything going for them. At every level of competition, minor hockey to professional, they win this drill. If the goaltender is in good condition, is well balanced on skates, and keeps his stick on the ice when he moves his body, it's a piece of cake. That's seven tries. Haven't scored yet. How about that save? One for ten. Nice going, Donnie. Next week, something extra special. Boys from minor hockey across Canada get a chance in head-to-head -head competition to beat the pro. Donnie Edwards, it's beat the pro, not beat the kid. I'm not really a hockey fan. So why am I watching the game on TV? Because it's the only way I can hear about Zeller's Hockey Fan Special. You see, every Monday, Zeller's drops the price of a special item for the fans watching this show. Starting Monday at Zeller's, get VO5 hairspray for a dollar.